Let's learn in this video how to use Microsoft Defender for DevOps to scan our source code to look for any security misconfigurations, to look for any pushed secrets or tokens into the source code, to scan the Amphra as code files, and to scan also the source code itself looking for any misconfigurations. With Defender for Cloud, we'll be able to scan multiple projects, multiple repositories, whether they are hosted on Azure DevOps or in GitHub, and we'll be able to view the code scanning vulnerabilities, the infrastructure as code scanning vulnerabilities, any exposed secrets, or any projects, open source projects vulnerabilities. All these informations will be available on the Azure dashboard, which will give an overview for all the projects. Microsoft Defender for DevOps is part of Microsoft Defender for Cloud, which is a tool for securing infrastructure that is in Azure, in AWS, in GCP, on-premises, or also on Azure DevOps and GitHub. So with this latest addition to Defender for Cloud, which is today Microsoft Defender for DevOps, will be able to have a DevOps posture visibility to scan the source code, the dependencies, the secrets, to also scan the container images, and to scan the infrastructure as code, whether they are ARM templates, BICEP templates, Terraform templates, cloud formation, and more. We'll be able also to scan the source code, whether that is C Sharp, Java, Node.js, Python, and many more. And this scan could be triggered man manually, or it could be also triggered on each pull request. Each time the team creates a pull request, this will trigger Defender for DevOps to scan against that configuration and provides findings if there is any security misconfiguration. How that works behind the scenes? So Defender for DevOps will be using some tools. Some of them are open source tools like anti-malware, bundled to scan for source code, ESLint for JavaScript code, template analyzer for scanning infrastructure as code templates like for ARM templates and BICEP, and then we'll be also using TerraScan to scan for Terraform configurations, Kubernetes files, Helm templates, Docker files used for, for creating Docker images, cloud formation, and it will also use Trivi in order to scan the Docker images, scanning their file systems and the Git repositories. Now, if I'm convinced with this project and I want to give it a try, what I should do here first is to go to the Azure portal, look for Microsoft Defender for Cloud, and then go to Environment Settings. And then from here, I'll go to Add a New Environment. So we can see here the two optional environment would be GitHub and Azure DevOps for DevOps pipelines. I choose one of them. So as we said, it works with GitHub and with Azure DevOps. If I choose GitHub here, it will ask me to create a new resource group within Azure to host the information about that connection to GitHub. Then I choose an Azure region, give it a name, and the second step would be to select a plan. So for today, we have only the free plan, which is free. So you can use it for free for now as it's still in preview. And third step would be the authentication to the GitHub repository. If I choose it Azure DevOps, then this would be the authorization to my Azure DevOps uh, pipelines or my Azure DevOps projects. So I authorize, I click authorize, I'll be prompted with a pop-up to enter my credentials and then Azure DevOps or or Defender for DevOps will authenticate against my GitHub repositories, then I can choose one or multiple repositories or just pick all the repositories available on my organization. And then I select Install Defender for DevOps app, which will install that application against my GitHub account. So that is the first part of the configuration from the Azure. Now, the second part of configuration would be from the tool I'm using. So if I'm using here Azure DevOps, then I would go to first to my uh, Azure DevOps uh, environment or organization, and then I will need to install a, an extension that is called Microsoft Security DevOps. I can install it for free. And then next, I'll go to one existing pipeline, or I can go just create a new pipeline, configure that pipeline for a trigger, selecting the VM image that should be Windows latest. And then I will use here the task Microsoft Security DevOps. I'll give it a display name. And then for the input, I'll specify here the categories, 
So this one will go to scan for the secrets, for the source code, the artifacts, the infrastructure as code, templates, and it will also scan the Docker containers if, I, if it detect any. And then it will go here for the tools, I select all the tools available per today in order to perform those scans. From within Azure uh, DevOps pipelines, this will look like this one here. So if I click on the settings section, I will have here the configuration displayed on the right side from uh, uh, DevOps, where I can view this configuration. After that, I have added this uh, pipeline or created this pipeline, and then next, I triggered it manually, and that will give me this console so that uh, once that pipeline starts running, it will show me this uh, log file saying that, uh, or displaying some of the findings from this uh, scan of my repository. So those findings, I can either read it from the console of Azure DevOps, or I can also go to the scans section my, of my uh, Azure DevOps, and from here I can view a list of all the findings with their code. So that was how to use it with Azure DevOps. Is It is as simple as that. Now let's see how to use it with GitHub Actions. So for that, I'll be using this main GitHub action written by Microsoft, which is Security DevOps Action, which is still in preview, as you can see. To configure this action, it's pretty simple. It just needs a permission for security events to write into the security events. And then I'll go to my pipeline and I'll add the task Microsoft slash security DevOps action. And then I'll just use the default configuration, which will look, which will scan any source code uh, written in any language, and it will also scan all the infra as code files. From uh, GitHub Actions, this will look like this one here. So I just select the uh, Security DevOps action, and it will show me here how I can use it, which are the inputs or the parameters that I can change for that action. Next, if I go to run that pipeline, this will go to show me those uh, different uh, tasks. So the main one is run Microsoft Security DevOps Analysis. After running that one, I can view the results either in the console or I can go to the security section within my uh, GitHub project and then go to code scanning. And from here I can view here I have 28 uh, security issues or uh, code scanning results found in my GitHub repository. So this same information here is useful for the developers who will be using GitHub. But for, for the cloud administrators or for the DevOps team maybe or for the ops team, they will be more familiar with uh, Azure. So for that, they will be able to view the same results within the Azure portal if, I, if they go to Defender for Cloud. And from here, they will see the different projects or the different GitHub uh, repositories that are linked to uh, the Defender for DevOps, and they will see the different uh, findings. So here it tells me that there are eight code scanning vulnerabilities, 21 infra as code scanning vulnerabilities, and luckily for me, there is no exposed uh, secrets. And for any one of these issues, I just go to uh, click it, and then it will uh, guide me through where it did find that issue, in which project, it will tell me in which line, and then it will suggest to me some remediation steps in order to mitigate that issue. Follow me next for demonstration 